Hey, are you ready? Are you excited? <laughs> so today you're going to add on some flowers. Yeah, so yeah, just so they can see why he's adding flowers onto the lower part because originally it just kind of came like a column down the so center of your um, For those that haven't seen the process so far, she started with a, a Gustav piece. Um, yeah, Gustav piece. Who's uh, from what, 1800s, Austrian. Um, pretty awesome artist. His story is really cool. Look it up. Yes. But um, you know, some artists we all we all drop the ball sometimes on, on any on any craft. You know, um, you know, you're in a, a, she's a dentist, and how many dentist jobs have you seen where you're like, well, that guy's actually you got work from that person. Actually, they're good. Some people have off days. Some people, yeah. <laughs> and more than anything, sometimes people take on projects that they shouldn't. Yeah. Yeah. Just for the money, and I turned down a lot of projects, but I'm glad. I took this one on and and said, you know what? I'm gonna get over myself and just during quarantine, um, we have a Gustav piece in the backyard, and she was like, you know what? And she showed me a project. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it. Like, uh, so um, she's also been through a lot. So part of the tattoo turned out great, and then part of it turned out not so great. So she had some laser done, and the laser that they used on her wasn't a great laser, and it burned her skin. So then she had a burn on her shoulder, then she had an excision where they cut out the scar tissue, then she had to have a revision of that scar to make it smaller and smaller. So it's been a wild ride, yes. So Joseph started by going over the part that had been lasered off and added his own art. It's oh, not yeah. the, it's not the Gustav style, he did um, his own style. So I added, I made the hands work, some of the hands didn't make sense and um, I just worked with what she had. So but what the artist did was just bring the art down the center of her back here, and it doesn't accent her her hourglass figure. Yeah. So now Joseph's going to put something down here to for balance being, out for her being figure tall and, and accent. And, her. and slender, she's got great curves, and so you want to accent them. So Joseph likes to do what he calls tattoos drawn to fit. Yeah. If he had done this, he would have drawn it to fit her hourglass figure as opposed to just slapping on what the painting looked like. Well, the painting is like an, a rectangle, but the guy should have done something to frame it or complement it, and he didn't. I'm so happy the books are closing with, we're, we're going over a few more, they'll be closed by uh, by next Sunday. We have to go through a few more, and we're waiting for responses, but this, is pro this right here backfires in the shell. She's gonna get hundreds of girls sending stuff that I just want. That they want him one, to fix or this cover. This one somehow or... just worked out. Not everything. Some people have things in an awkward place. It was so offset that I was able to work around it, and I was able to. Well, and she's awkward. she's already done it the work with like, getting it lasered. It made no sense on her back, and like I said, I've done pieces out there that you know I've dropped the ball or like just because they had me do something that was out of my comfort zone, and. Um, you know, we're always growing. And so with me, I've, I've been, we're booked 19 months, 18, 19 months right now. I've been booked over six months for like, like six years and up to a year. So when people book things, they're seeing my work from a year ago. So every time they, once they get to me, I keep getting better. Um, so people saw what, what I was capable of. And, So here's the thing with her also is that she did the work. A lot of people come to us and they've got a really dark cover up that is just, there's no way he could cover it. She already did the laser removal and everything. So she had done that and then she went on a search for somebody who could give her something that she loves. Even if it didn't match up with the Gustav Klimt, she just wanted to love her back and be able to wear tank tops and be happy and wear sundresses and wear a bathing suit. Um, you don't so, go to the gym and work your ass off to have a figure like this and then hit your back piece. That's right. Really and she had to wear big baggy t-shirts when she went to the gym because she just didn't want anyone to look at it. Yeah. So now she's she's able to love it and be proud of it and feel comfortable. Um, and she lives in a place where it's warm outside and she wants to be able to wear cool clothing, but you can't do that when you feel self-conscious that somebody's going to ask, what is that? What's on your back? Yeah. Look, I mean, like this arm. I paid a thousand dollars. A hundred bucks an hour was nineteen ninety eight. I paid a thousand dollars for this in nineteen ninety eight. 
And so do. many people, <laughs> you know what's funny is like, dudes will be like, sick tats, and Michelle's like, really, what is I'm it? I'm like, really, which one? Tell but me you know which people one. like, what is it? I'm like, <laughs> I don't fucking know. Oh, no. I still don't know what was going on on the back. Well, and that's the worst, when it's on your back and you can't see the progress of what's going on, you can't be like, hey, that doesn't look right. But now, like I was saying, some of my older work, not only did some people like force me to do things that I didn't want to do, um, they made me do it in like only a couple sessions. She was like, I don't care how long it takes, she wants it by night. Um, that's, so that's where I get, I get um, not amount of stress. I don't have to rush. Kind of like what I was learned today in my jogging. I, I did it in half the time, slower, but I felt I got the results. And like things are clicking. Like you just don't worry about instant gratification and trying to force things. Yeah. It was really weird running like this. No, you're perfect. Yeah. <laughs> how how did that run go again? <laughs> what? Do it. It's one of my favorite hobbies. It was very cute. Making fun of me and correcting me. Yes. Exactly. His jogging keeps him on his toes. You should have seen how he did that. It was behind you. You can see, but. <laughs> She's like, I'm just saying. <laughs> so, is this your first tattoo ever, the little angel? That was my first, yeah. The what? My foot one. Oh, your foot. I was like, you have a foot? Yeah, I didn't I see the foot. I thought you meant a foot on your back. <laughs> oh. You know, it might as well have had a foot on there. That's how awkward it was. Yeah. Alright, guys, Bizarre. he's going to draw on these leaves and, uh,. We will check back in with you guys. Maybe even go live if she's yeah. feeling comfortable later on. Sure. All right. Questions. Happy Saturday, y'all. No dental questions, though. She no dental questions. questions. No, she's not working. We don't want to see your teeth. I was almost like, hey, look at my teeth. Please do, you do not send her DM. Okay. Okay. Do that. Like, <laughs> <awkward. laughs> you ever been on a date and they were like, oh, every time. Every time. oh, oh time. man. That's so terrible. Or right? have you thought a guy was cute and then when she saw how bad it seemed, you're like, oh. I'm more than that, but yeah. Good. Right. See? We already knew that. All right, guys. We'll see you later. Joseph, say bye. Bye. <laughs>